السلام عليكم مرحبا بكم في هذه الحصه التي سنتكلم فيها حول استراتيجيه حركه ويكيميديا 2030 الحصه ستكون بلغتين العربيه والانجليزيه معنا مسير مرداد من الكورتين الذي سوف يتكلم بالانجليزيه وانا ساتكلم بالعربيه ومعنا كذلك اعضاء من مجموعه العمل حول الاستراتيجيه من مختلف البلدان ومن مختلف المواضيع فمرحبا بكم نتمنى ان تستفيدوا من هذه الحصه التي نريد ان تكون تفاعليه بالتالي نريد ان اخذ اكبر عدد من الاراء والاسئله منكم حتى يعرف اعضاء مجموعه العمل ومرداد كيف يتعاملون مع مختلف الاوضاع Thank you Anas Hi everyone welcome to strategy session I hope you've had a great past 2 3 days um, this is a bilingual session so we have panel members in both languages, and we have uh, Anas and I as moderators. So please feel free to ask questions in English or in Arabic. Also, if you need clarification in either language, please raise your hand. I also have post-its here that I'll be passing around in case you don't feel comfortable speaking publicly, but you want to write down a comment, you can do so, pass it on anonymously. Um, yeah, it's a really open, safe space just to talk future. And actually, the next session is about the future of Wiki Arabia. So if you have ideas from this session about, and then maybe you can take inspiration from here and then really put it into action for your region, um, this is the chance. Um, my name is Murda. I'm from the Movement Strategy Core Team. It's really nice to be here. Um, when I was first told about this session, my first question was, are Farsi speakers welcome here? And by the organizers, I was told, Everyone's welcome here. We want Kurdish speakers here, and Turkish speakers, and Farsi speakers, and um, in Wikimedia, we don't have a panel for this region, but perhaps this is the panel for it. Wiki Arabia is the start for that. And maybe this is that Wiki Arabia that we remember as the turning point, where things really started changing for this region, and people came together. So it's really great to be here. Thank you for everything you guys have done. I know how much you've worked around. I'm not sure if you've slept much, but it's really, it's really appreciated. Um, so yeah, welcome. Welcome to Wikimedia, Wikimedia 2030 strategy session. Um, I have my laptop here just because some of the slides will be in Arabic and I want to make sure I'm following. We all know our, vi our vision, a world in which every single human can freely share in the sum of all knowledge. But we know very well that that world is changing. It's not the same world where our movement was founded. Just some stats to go over. Populations all over the world are growing. Oh, I keep forgetting this one. So populations are growing, um, but the world is actually getting younger. And this is not the same in every region of the world. In some parts of the world, we have more seniors, or we will have more seniors than we've ever had before. Whereas in other parts of the world, the population under 25 years of age will be bigger than it has ever been. And this provides a lot of challenges for many, but it also provides a lot of opportunities. Whether it's on education or employment, um, some may see it as a challenge. So it's sometimes called a youth challenge, but I actually see it as a youth opportunity. Um, there's a lot that we can do with change, and, um, and what a better platform than our movement. So we're also, not only are we younger than ever before, we're also more connected and more mobile than ever before. Um, mobile phone subscriptions all over the world are growing. It's not at the same cost everywhere, but internet is getting cheaper everywhere. It is getting more accessible everywhere. And actually, um, for many people in the world, maybe they've never sat behind a desktop, but now they have access to that on their phones. And even that introduction to that access is changing. For a lot of people, internet means social networking, uh, it means chat groups. For a lot of them, it doesn't mean the internet that we grew up with or we know. Um, this also means that the way we share, we connect, we receive information and we share information is changing, and that's changing rapidly, and this has a lot of implications for our movement. And also, we're using smarter phones. I mean, in, in many parts of the world, People may not have access to some basic necessities of life, but you will still find phones and smarter phones, and phones are getting more accessible. And again, these platforms that we're used to and platforms where we used to seek knowledge and we're still seeking knowledge, it's changing. And this is also providing 
a lot of new opportunities for product and technology in our movement and how we can incorporate these changes around the world. So where does strategy come from? None of this information is new. This has been something that we've talked about. Oh yeah, I click here and then. <laughs> this has been going on for a while. This is from conversations that happened in 2015, which then led to the development of strategic direction. Then last year at Wikimania in Cape Town, working groups formed around nine thematic areas that we thought would be most important for bringing that future that we envision. And what is that future? What is that strategic direction? It's that by 2030, Wikimedia will become the essential infrastructure of the ecosystem of free knowledge, and anyone who joins our vision will be able to join us. To quickly break that down, Wikimedia means all of us. It means individual contributors, it means chapters, it means the foundation, it means user groups, and it means all projects. Projects that we know and love now, but also projects that maybe we haven't even envisioned. Essential infrastructure, that would be tools and platforms that enable us to collect, to share information, to gather information, and to build that trusted network of free knowledge that we envision. And the ecosystem of free knowledge, this would be Wikimedia and its partners. When we say anyone who shares a vision can join us, we need to build those platforms, we need to reach out to those people and those organizations who share our vision. And our vision is a world in which every single human being can freely share the sum of all knowledge. We have knowledge as a service, and this would be our infrastructure to enable us to use different forms of free, trusted knowledge for our users, but also for our partners. We also have knowledge equity, because we know our movement doesn't live in an isolated world, and a lot of structures and historical and social economic issues that have that impact us around the world are also affecting the movement and there are many who have been left out and we need to reach out. It's, it's more than just making space for them, it's more than knowing that we've created something amazing, but it's actually about welcoming them, it's about wanting them, um, it's about them feeling safe, it's about feeling that they can share with us this, this beautiful creation of really humanity. So how can we get there? In Wikimania, Cape Town, nine thematic areas were formed. These were nine thematic areas that we thought, people had thought at that time, many community discussions had led to believe that these nine thematic areas will capture the essence of the future that we envision. And actually, we're lucky to have five members of these working groups here with us that we'll be engaging with very soon. And these are advocacy, capacity building, community health, diversity, partnerships, product and technology, resource allocation, revenue streams and roles and responsibilities. So the working group model has brought people from all around the world and all around our movement together. There are executive directors and foundation members, but there are also volunteers from emerging settings, from new settings, um, and from very established settings. This is a little map of where all working group members come from. Um, we can see the Americas are quite well represented, um, there's much growth we can do in Asia, um, and of course in Africa. And these are regions where, as we talked earlier, this is where the youth population is growing, but this is actually where we have the fewest chapters, and this is where we need to do the most growth as a movement. The working groups work in all kinds of time zones, they work all around the world, um, they're all in a volunteer capacity, um, and once in a rare while they come together, and that was actually three weeks ago in Tunisia, we came together for a harmonization sprint to attempt to bring the recommendations together. And there have also been many community con cons consultations. Back in March, the community conversations started. Many of you have actually participated in salons and have held regional or small group salons to discuss strategy and see what strategy means for you. So there have been seven language strategy liaison, and actually there's one also for Arabic here with us. There have been two regional summits. There were 31 local salons in 29 countries, 14 of them in Africa and six in Asia. There were 11 youth-specific salons. Um, we also made reach out to Russian and Farsi engagement, even though you technically can't because of politics and 
um, external issues, but we, we made an effort to include them and invite them in other salons where they could actually engage and voice their opinions. Um, and there are actually eight language community surveys. And this is one of the pictures of the regional summit in the ECF region. And earlier in September, we held a regional summit in East Africa. So I would love actually for Felix to tell us a thing or two about things, things that you heard maybe and um, perhaps differences and similarities with Wiki Arabia and East Africa. Um, and also there were in-person gatherings around strategy. This was a big one at Wikimania where every working group, all nine of them, had a dedicated session for the thematic area and people came, people came with questions. Um, we actually incorporated all their input into the second iteration of the recommendations which are available for you to comment on. Um, and actually at Wikimedia in Stockholm, we also connected with the SDGs and we know that many of the sustainable development goals also affect us. We are affected by many of them from outside, but also internally, many of them, we want to reach for equity. Um, education is one that we can partner with and we can actually help to grow and address many of these challenges. So the working groups, nine of them, they have put forward two iterations of recommendations. The second iteration had 89 recommendations in it, and this is a little picture of the top 10 words that were set in the recommendations. How people, community, new, change, support, Wikimedia, knowledge, and resources. And you can actually build a story around that. How, how do we include people? How do we include new movements? How do we bring in resources? The resources for our movement to grow the need, the support, and the challenge ahead of us. So there were 89 draft recommendations, well-articulated ideas. It's a solid base for all of us to engage on. They're connected with existing realities of the movement. Um, they're striving for diversity and equity in many of their ideas, although perhaps not. They need your help to see how they can do that actually in reality, but at an idea level, they provide many opportunities for engagement. And they strive to overcome many barriers of entry and structures of power and privilege. And of course, they try to balance the sustainability of our movement, but also with disrupting ways that have not been able to include everyone in the movement. So just very quickly, if we can pass these around. I only have a few more slides left, and then it's all up to you. Take a few post-its. Pass it around. Write down ideas, write down questions. We also have questions for you, but before that, we would love to hear from you, your ideas, your questions, particularly around the next two slides. These were the main patterns that emerged from a year of conversations amongst the working groups. The cat, that's the main one. So these were the main patterns that emerged out of working group conversations movement, growth, and diversification. So please think for your user group, for yourself, for your experience, and for this movement, um, and again, for this great platform that we've gotten to know over the past two days, what does movement, growth, and diversification mean to you? How, how would it matter to you? How can it be done better in your region? Distribution of decision-making. This has been a really common theme of discussion, whether it's around decentralization, whether it's around regionalization, thematic regions, um, political, I mean, regional hubs, um, whatever you call it, there's been a lot of discussions around decision-making and sharing of decision-making amongst our movement. And so what does this mean to you? How can this impact you? How would you feel more included in decision-making? Another one is the third point, guiding principles and overarching frameworks. It makes a lot of sense. Our movement grew organically, um, it grew through many personal connections, it, it grew through many volunteer efforts. But now at this point, there's perhaps this is an opportunity to approach things systematically, whether it's through partnerships, whether it's through building capacity. Um, there have been a lot of discussions around, okay, we need a systematic way to approach this. We need guiding principles to approach something else. Um, and this would never be at, at a central level, this would be ideas that we discuss, but then we think of how to contextualize it, how to take that forward at a regional and local level. So think of these, think 
what growth and diversification mean to you, and then put the questions forward for our panel to discuss. Um, what does distribution of decision making mean to you? What are some guiding principles and overarching frameworks that would make a difference here or you've noticed as a big need? And just some more patterns. Ways to systematically address community health. And I know for a fact that this is a big issue in Arabic Wikipedia, but also in Farsi and Turkish Wikipedia. How can we systematically address community health? Leave it flexible, leave it open, leave it adaptable to local context, but also systematically address it as a movement. How can we do that? How can we build capacity? This has come up a lot. What are the needed capacities? We've heard many sessions over the weekend on MOOCs, on tutorials, on videos, on connecting people together, on platform, on user-friendly spaces. How can we do that better? What would it mean to you at the local level, at the user group level? What would that mean? How can that make a difference? And user-friendly virtual hubs. This has also been a big conversation in communities. Information that's accessible, information that's searchable, and I know that all across our movement, we're taking huge steps towards this. But we would love to hear from you and hear what you think. And finally, recognition. This has come up a lot in conversations. The need to recognize volunteers, whether it's monetary, whether it's, it's in different forms, whether it's um, empowering them for non editing or non-content contributing ways, but that conversation has come up a lot. And structurally, what would this mean? What would it mean to recognize volunteers? A lot of partnerships have happened on a one-on-one -on -one basis, but as a system and as a movement, how can we approach and how can we recognize partners? And of course, recognition for the movement itself. This is an incredible movement that has grown, that has just expanded, and it has it's, it's huge what it has become, and many, Many people across our movement have asked for the need to recognize this. We need to pause and recognize and unite over the movement that we have become. And so that's it. This is where we are. These 89 recommendations were painstakingly put forward. They're at various levels. There was a first round of the iterations available in Arabic. The second round is only available in English at the moment, but there will be a big community consultation again. So please share your ideas with us. And it's with your input that we'll figure out how to take them from the recommendation to implementation. And that's it. Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So I'll pass it on to our panel members. A quick round of introductions, and then it's, it's your floor, it's your circle. In whatever language you like, Arabic, English, both ideally. How's your Arabic? <laughs> السلام عليكم انا سميتي انس من المغرب وخدام في الاستراتيجيه مع مجموعه العمل ديال المناصر المهم في في المغرب حنا كنقولوا شنو كنقول المناصر المرافعه كنقول المرافعه اللي هي بالانجليزي ادفوكسي وفي نفس الوقت خدام منصه استراتيجي اللغه العربيه كنخدم مع الناس اللي متكلمين بالعربيه في المواضيع الاستراتيجيه Uh, so my name is Anas, I'm from Morocco, I'm a member of the Advocacy Working Group and I'm also working as a strategy liaison for the Arabic language. I'm from Egypt, I'm a teaching assistant at Cairo University, I'm a member of the Bris Working Group. Assalamu alaikum. My name is Felix Nate. I'm from Ghana. I'm with the Resource Allocation Working Group. Um, I'll be intrigued to learn about your um, thoughts about money, money is power, so let's talk. <laughs> All right, are you, are you sure? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, okay. I'm Jack Rabah. I'm from the Wikimedia, the Shrakat, 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 the Jack, I'm the head of um, um, partnerships for Middle East Africa with the Wikimedia Foundation. I'm from Jordan, and I'm also part of the partnerships working group. Uh, hi, I'm Mark. Uh, I'm from Barcelona. I'm a researcher on user experience and diversity, and I involved in the uh, working group on, on the diversity. And I'm very happy to to be in this panel. 
you. So if you ask questions in English or Arabic, feel free. Also, I can come around and collect your questions if you prefer to pass the question on to us and then we can have the panel read them. Do you have questions already? Perfect. Martin, go ahead. Thank you very much for convening this gathering and also for giving us the, this introduction to remind us about the, the great themes. I don't want to speak too much because I'm, I'm not an Arab. I don't, I don't know the region, but, but the, the conversation that I really care about uh, that relates to knowledge equity is, is the question of, of funding and rewards and recognition um, because I think that is a global issue and it is something that maybe from a European perspective you don't see, but I think from a global perspective in most of the other parts of the world you really see it. And, and uh, uh, I want to give a very brief example that uh, Reem was telling me about, and, and then I'll ask uh, the, the panel, and maybe also you have a perspective on that. Uh, uh, you were telling me about a story when you were looking for a small amount of funding to rent a venue, uh, and you approached the foundation, the global foundation, and they were telling you, we can give you 500, but we can't give you $90. It's too small. So one proposal I have is maybe there's a, an opportunity for regional pools of money to distribute uh, to, to projects like this. But uh, really the question uh, for the panel and for the room is, are there already examples of that, uh, of like local and small amounts of resource distribution that we can learn from? Well, I asked so many. <laughs> so um, I think one of the things that we did in resource allocation was to do research on um, the communities that exist around us and communities that are aligned with what we do, and to, to uncover what um, processes people have used to disseminate money on a regional scale. And so if you look at our recommendation, one of the recommendations says that redistributing the structures um, of power that currently exist in our movement, and the idea is to bring um, the decision making closer to the bodies or to the entities that require the needs and the monies. And so uh, it's something that we have considered, but as of this point, I don't have a clear example of an institution that does this, but uh, it's something that we've, we've kept in consideration when we're coming up with our recommendations. Did I answer your question? Or? So just to make things clear, so this means that in the future I can expect people to, or I can expect the foundation to be actually able to grant me a very small amount of money, the, the amount that I need. Did, did, did I? Yes, I think at this point in time it already exists. I don't know if you know of the rapid grant. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. This is the one I went to, and they told me that the smallest they can give me is five hundred dollars, and uh, I, I honestly don't need that. <laughs> I don't know how to tell them they don't need that. Um, so. So, yeah, of course, this is the reason why we're having the movement strategy. We need to talk to the communities and understand like their values and what they need so we can come up with strategies that helps them going forward. As he read, the 2030 strategy says that we want to be able to serve these communities, but how do we get there? The process to get there is now, and that's why we've come up with the working groups to sort of like collect information from the communities to be able to craft uh, the recommendations in a way that it serves your needs. And so these are things that you can write up um, to me, especially because I'm in the resource allocation working group, and this can go and like, be considered when we are creating the recommendations. Because at this point in time, we do have the recommendations, but they're not final. We're still working on them and improving them. I know there's this misconception that the recommendations are done. They are not done. We're still open to listening to views and improving these recommendations at this point in time. So you can, you are also welcome to ask in Arabic. Yeah, or what do you think is more Arabic? Arabic, Arabic. 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 Okay. <laughs> uh, uh, my name is Najib, for those who don't know me. I'm speaking English, so I'm speaking English anyway. It's me Najib Mukhtari, I'm a science communication. I'm a huge user of Wikipedia English, but I'm pretty much I don't use Wiki Arabia. Uh, 
هذه الناس يشهدوا عليه وأن هذه المقالات هي مقالات آراء كما لو كانت بالكتابين أو من بلوك بلوكس بدل الكتابة المرسوية فسؤالي للجنة هو هل ما هي الميكانيزمات أو علاقة استراتيجية اللي عندكم لي على الأقل الصوت النهوض بالقيمة الموسوعية لويكيبيديا يعني إذا كنا مت... طبعا المقالات الموضوع يعني في ما هي أمر مستحيل أن نوصل إليه في أي لغة وفي أي مجتمع ولكن على الأقل إذا كانت ويكيبيديا العربية اليوم مثل ما إنها مستوى 20% في من الموضوعية فهل ما هي الاستراتيجية لكي نصل إلى 30 35 40 في المئة في السنوات القادمة أعتقد أن المشكلة إشكالية بسبب الطبيعة الموزعة للتحرير في الموسوعة هي القيمة الموسوعية أو القيمة الموضوعية للموسوعة تعتمد على جودة المحررين فبعض الأفكار الممكن المقترح ولا أدري هل هي في استراتيجيتكم هي مثلا هل بإمكانية ويكي ويكيبيديا أو المؤسسة أن تشتغل مع مبادرة أو أن تنشئ مبادرات من أجل empowering of the editors تقوية وتدعيم المحررين في مجال يعني طبعا رأيت العديد من الأنشطة في هذا اللقاء حول تدعيم وتقوية من ناحية التقنية كيف تنشئ حساب كيف تقوم بالتعديل كيف تحمي بياناتك إلى آخره ولكن هنا كذلك الدعم الفلسفي نوعا ما أو طريقة يعني هو نوعا ما الدروس في الجورناليزم أو الدروس في الكتابة الموسوعية التي ربما يمكن أن تكون متاحة كذلك من ناحية الحكامة يعني أو الحكامة يعني مثلا هل قمتم بالتفكير في بوست اوف تشيف تروث اوفيسر سيت يعني ان يكون هناك اهتمام بالحقيقه وبالموسوعيه وبالجوده الموضوعيه للموسوعه ككتابه موسوعيه من اعلى من اعلى الهرم حتى يكون يعني اعتماد استراتيجيات في هذا المجال وامكانيه اكزيكيوت امكانيه تنفيذ هذه الاستراتيجيه على المستوى الموسوعه وشكرا ثانك يو سو ماتش uh, will you do a quick summary of that in English and then we can see which panel member? Uh, I, I could also summarize in English. Well, not very short, please. Oh, okay. and, uh, so so basically, basically the, the summary is that well, I, uh, uh, Wikipedia English is excellent. I, I, I use it, I think a lot of people use it uh, because of its quality. But Wikipedia Arab, Arabic is uh, has a, a huge issue, which is the issue of objectivity. So a lot of the articles uh, sound more like a blog or a point of view more than uh, really uh, encyclopedic and uh, objective writing. So my question was, uh, what, what is the strategy of the foundation on, and of Wikipedia in terms of, uh, of uh, trying to uh, increase the level of uh, um, the quality of encyclopedic writing uh, in the encyclopedia? Thank you very much. Is there a panel member that feels Inclined to answer that. I am very happy to have a lot of people إن هم يناموا قدرات الناس يدوهم دورات تنمية يطوروا قدراتهم فدي حاجة إحنا كنا اقترحناها بالفعل هو ممكن جاك يزيد عليها لو هم فعلا في الشركات يعني هيمشوا حي... في الطريق ده ولا لا بس هو دي خطتنا جدا حاجة تانية فكرة جودة المحتوى والأراء الشخصية ده كنا نتكلم فيه بارح يعني حاسة بعيد شويتين ممكن يكون مرتبط نوعا ما بالصحة المجتمعية بس يعني أنا لا أوافقك تماما في موضوع الأراء الشخصية ممكن تكون موجودة بالنسبة بس مش هي المسيطرة على ويكيبيديا العربية زي ما اتكلمنا احنا امبارح كنا واصلين 958000 مقال عدد النشطاء وفق الإحصائيات 5000 محرر النشطين حوالي 150 فالفجوة موجودة لو في أراء شخصية دي مهمة أي حد محرر في ويكيبيديا أي حد حتى مستخدم جديد يقدر يعدل الكلام ده ويصلح الوجهة النظر الشخصية. So I just wanted to add a word. This has nothing to do with resource allocation, but from what I understood, you mentioned something. You said, what will the Wikimedia Foundation or the Wikimedia Strategy do about this? I just wanted to reiterate something. The Wikimedia Strategy is not the Wikimedia Foundation, and it's not the Wikimedia Strategy. 
it's all of us. So if you really want to get some of these things out there, you really need to go to the discussion pages and discuss them. It's very important that we let these things out because the foundation lives in San Francisco. They will not know this until you tell them. And so please be a part of the process and read, like amplify your voice in a way that people can hear this kind of things and so we can craft recommendations that solves this kind of needs in the community. جاوب شوي على سؤالك سؤالك كان طويل وكثير كان في يعني نقاط وفي بس في نقطة واحدة حبيت أحكي لك عن قوة وأهمية الشركات أول يوم حكينا بشراكة جوجل مثلا أوكي جوجل هذا كان مثلا مش يعني في أمثلة ثانية وفي طرق ثانية نقدر نوصلها بس من 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 جهة الشركات أهمية الشركات ليش؟ لأنه نقدر نشتغل مع مؤسسات ومع شركات نفهم كيف نقدر نبني المحتوى مع بعض، كيف نقدر نحسن المحتوى العربي، كيف نقدر نفهم ايش التحديات الموجودين بكل بلد، بكل يوزر جروب، بكل كوميونتي، بكل ويكيبيديا، بكل لغة لأنه كله رح يختلف بس كثير مهم كمان نفكر بفكرة الوعي عن ويكيبيديا وكيف نقدر نبني هذا الوعي عشان المحررين الجداد والمحررين الحابين يساعدوا يكتبوا يفهموا كيف نقدر كيف بيقدروا يبلشوا كيف بيقدروا يتواصلوا مع بعض كيف بيقدروا يتعلموا ويطوروا فأهمية الشركات تبلش هون بلشت ورح تبلش بالمستقبل كمان يعني هاي أدى كلمة بنضلنا نحكي فيها بنضلنا نفكر كيف نقدر نكبر مع بعض فا زي ما حكى فيليكس بظن رأيك كثير مهم ولازم توجهه وترفع صوتك عشان الاستراتيجي هي نفسها الموفمنت استراتيجي يسمعوا كل الاصوات من كل الناس اللي هون عشان لما نبني ونخلص الريكومنديشنز نتاكد انه فكرتك مسموعه Actually, Jack, would you give a oh, quick summary yeah, yeah. in English? Cole's notes. Very quick. Uh, I'm basically saying that uh, the importance of, of partnerships, uh, we've talked on day one, uh, Google as an example, uh, where there's an outside organization that is interested and aligned on certain uh, pillars that we agree on uh, that, that improve or increase content, um, content distribution, brand awareness, uh, in collaboration with communities to address certain gaps uh, and the, the learning points from these partnerships is uh, understanding the challenges that are more local, the challenges that are more regional and how we can build together. The awareness aspect, the awareness piece of, of, of learning how we can improve certain articles, how we can work together with other communities, how we can build this together. This is the time now to voice these concerns and to have these discussions so that uh, there's opportunity for, uh, for growth and when the recommendations are being put out and finalized, we ensure that the, your voices are heard. Thank you so much. There's a comment on that and then Mark, and then question, question, question. Your comment? You had a comment on the last, go ahead. أن ويكيبيديا تعكس واقعنا والحقيقة أن الكثير من لديهم إمكانات متقدمة في التحرير هم هم درسوا بلغات أجنبية وكنتيجة لذلك يساهمون في ويكيبيديا في اللهجات في اللغة الأجنبية وهذه قضية محورية وبأهمية كثيرة جدا. أتمنى أن we consider this with a lot of consideration. One more comment and then panel. Go ahead. Did you have a comment? Sure. مرحبا أخي مختاري القضية بس اللي حبيت أقوله إنه جزئية الموثوقية هي ليست فقط معنية بالاستراتيجية هي أيضا معنية بالمجتمع وهذا دورنا إحنا كأعضاء مجتمع يعني بمعنى آخر 
لما نحكي على موثوقية مقال معين هناك يعني عدة أشخاص مثلا عندنا مشاريع ويكي ممكن إذا تحكي على موثوقية مقال بخص الطب هناك مثلا مشروع ويكي الطب ممكن توصل إلنا وإحنا نساعدك في زيادة الموثوقية للمقال ممكن أيضا في بعض اليوزر أو مجموعات المستخدمين اللي فيها مهتمة بموضوع تحسين المحتوى مثلا في عندك ويكي بروجيك بروجيك ميد فاونديشن نجيد صار ثيماتيك أورجنايزيشن اللي هو معنية بتطوير المحتوى الطبي بكل اللغات هسه معروف اسمها بويكيبيديا ميديسن انا بورد ممبر فيها مثلا هذا هذا يوزر جروب ممكن يساعدك في تطوير المحتوى لكن انا لا انكر دور انا مش انسان كثير منخرط في الاستراتيجية ولكن لا انكر انه ممكن يكون تخصيص الاستراتيجية في هذا المجال مش عارف اذا المكان الاحسن هو الكباسيتي بيلدينج اللي هو بناء القدرات لانه هو بيحكي عن تطوير قدرات المحررين مثلا في افكار كثيرة منها مثلا انه لو احنا بنحكي على محتوى علمي اكيد في مؤتمرات علمية محكمة وقوية يعني في 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 كثير اماكن العالم ممكن يكون جزء من استراتيجية من كيف نقدر نبعث أكثر المحررين والمساهمين على هيك مؤتمرات. I will summarize in English now. Uh, first of all, I'm not uh, so involved in strategy, but I think that uh, might go with uh, capacity building because he is talking about uh, uh, making um, you know uh, more experience uh, for editors. So that I'm thinking that there is some conferences that specific for certain fields of knowledge, like uh, uh, like in the in science, like for uh, American Association for Advanced of Science, of science as, as an example. Uh, if we can address that with the strategy so that uh, we can send some of our most you know profilic or most contrib most active contributors in a certain field of knowledge so we can send them to that uh, to that conferences or that meetings so that we can uh, uh, account that as kind of capacity building that would be a good opportunity Another way of looking for this problem is that it's not just part of the strategy, it's also part of the com of, of community work. I give two examples that, like, uh, I'm, I'm from a medical background because I'm a medical student, so if you are talking about the reliability of a medical article, we have a wiki project, med uh, wiki, a wiki, a wiki project medicine in, in Arabic Wikipedia and also in many other, uh, you know, languages. So I'm here with my colleague, Ala, for example, you can reach out uh, one of us to, uh, to, like, to fix that article, but also you can reach the uh, user group. So there is something called Wikimedia Medicine. I'm one of the board members of Wikimedia Medicine. So if you want to improve the quality of article in, in that party, you have two, uh, two, two, uh, two ways of reaching that out. Not just in medicine, also there's wiki projects for any uh, other fields of study. That's all. Thank you very much. But maybe for comments, because then we won't, we won't get to any more questions. Um, But let's finish the panel on this topic first. Go ahead, Mark. Um, I have nothing much to add, but uh, I would like to uh, re remark uh, this relationship between working on the field, so building capacity, uh, making better advocacy for uh, free knowledge, uh, building uh, better partnerships, because all this is what later translates into uh, better quality. So we, it's not, I don't think it's possible to, to work on quality by itself, but as a result of, of all this. And uh, especially in this region, I'm aware, uh, and I'm not expert at all in this region, that uh, it's possible to, to work on, on these areas. And uh, I think that the more diversity uh, in terms of uh, different types of user, different types of editors, uh, the better the quality uh, uh, will be. And, uh, and, and this is a fact that we can uh, also examine in, uh, uh, in other uh, communities. And I have a question uh, for you that uh, I think it relates to, uh, to this uh, particular topic uh, because uh, I've been very, um, very interested in uh, the previous presentation uh, which explained that uh, there's going to be this growth uh, of youth uh, in, in the region and uh, I wonder if uh, this youth uh, is able to contribute with the content of the previous generations if, uh, if we need to involve uh, more uh, older profiles in order not to lose uh, content diversity, and uh, how, when, how can we do that? Uh, are these barriers solvable for uh, people in their 50s, 60s, or uh, should we try to work on the youth, uh, um, some sort of uh, creating better bonds between generations in order to contribute? I think this is a topic that emerged from this uh, growth uh, uh, this generation uh, change. And I wanted to offer a quick follow-ups to two of the points that were made, um, and I want.
wanted to offer you a direct answer to your question since you were asking what the foundation intends to do about it. I think expectation setting is important. So the answer is the foundation, among the various problems that it faces and challenges that it chooses to engage in, does not consider that a problem that it needs to handle. The quality of articles or the level of neutrality on Arabic Wikipedia or on any Wikipedia is not really for the foundation to solve. The foundation is very happy to help the Arabic community solve it. If they need better tools, if they want to have Wiki Arabia to discuss it, to come up with a project, to design an NPOV, neutral point of view course, that we can support. But we do not make it our business to assess the quality or the neutrality of any Wikipedia. I wanted that to be clear. So that's not an expectation you should have of the foundation. Um, to the point about uh, finance uh, that Green raised, I want to also add some information. Uh, yes, the minimal grant amount is $500. The reason is it costs us $40 to move money anywhere, and then also some staff time to do the paperwork around it, etc. So we don't want to spend all that to give you $90. We want to give you $500 so that you use it for more than one thing. You or your group or, the, or your community, and that is what we encourage you to do. So you said, we said no. Uh, I think what we said was no, please ask for more money. And, and we can, yeah, yeah, the details we can work out later, but the point is we want this to be efficient. It's not that we don't want to fund your small expenses, we just want to fund them efficiently in a slightly larger batch. But don't think that you cannot get coverage for a $50 expense. We would just expect you or your group to, to come up with like a plan for how to use more than that, and then we'll send you $500 or 1000 and you can spend it over a year, okay? Yeah, I think maybe the question that's coming out of that is, uh, thank you. The other thing that was about closer decision making, you don't have to wait for someone to design that. You have a forum here, Wiki Arabia. You could decide that Wiki Arabia or some subcommittee that you want to set up wants to advise the foundation today or tomorrow, whatever fund make, uh, grant making body is set up that you want to have some kind of Wiki Arabia funding committee. You could set that up today if you want. Thank you so much. Uh, we have a written question and then there's a question on this side and of course for whoever else. Question is, what are the major recommendations on content diversification and growth? What are some major recommendations on content diversification? And I think Am I right to go to you first? Yeah. And then I'm next. <laughs> okay. Advocacy next after diversity. Okay, so there are, there are uh, three recommendations which uh, address uh, this issue of content growth and, uh, and diversification. Uh, one on partnerships, because we, we need to expand the partnerships in order to, uh, to have uh, content that we do not uh, access uh, at the moment. Um, especially partnerships that share our values, because uh, not all partnerships uh, do. Um, the second one is uh, on digitization, because uh, um, we, ha we have the, the aim of, uh, of uh, reaching the, the sum of human knowledge, and uh, th there are knowledge which is not uh, in the digital form yet, so it's important that we find a way to uh, and invest resources on, on, on that, uh, either in introducing this content in wiki sources, or even creating a new platform. There was a recommendation called Wiki Oral, which is uh, aimed uh, at uh, having a platform dedicated at, at first uh, acquiring, I mean recording, and second, uh, experiencing uh, oral knowledge. And uh, the third recommendation that, uh, that uh, I invite you to, to, to take a look at is on notability, notability and, uh, and, uh, and sources and, and referenceability because uh, this is a very controversial topic, since notability uh, is, is one of the main uh, guidelines that ensures that the content has quality and, and people, they uh, rely on Wikipedia, but at the same time, the interpretation, you know, it's, uh, the interpretation of notability uh, should be uh, perhaps more flexible in order to understand uh, whether there, there are sources on you know, this topic, and uh, whether the, the article in itself belongs to a gap uh, or not, uh, it, 
in order to, to make more informed decisions. Uh, notability uh, guidelines, they tend to be, um, they tend to be um, built according to a Western criteria of uh, second sources. And uh, there are many, uh, many uh, topics uh, from uh, marginalized uh, uh, areas and uh, societies that do not count on an academy in order to create these sources. So uh, in order to uh, improve content coverage and diversification, it's essential that we raise awareness of the communities uh, uh, in order that they, they know that whether they delete it or not, whether they, they do not consider this uh, notable, uh, that the topic in itself uh, uh, really depends on the sources. Uh, I just, just want to translate to in Arabic because we are in Peer Review. Uh, so, uh, the question that you can هو حول المواضيع التي يعملون عليها في مجمعة التنوع وما هي التوصيات التي خرجوا بها. مارك قال أن هناك ثلاث مسائل يعملون عليها من أجل تحسين التنوع في سواء في المجتمع أو على المستوى. النقطة الأولى هي الشراكات لأنه لما تعمل على شراكات كثيرة تستطيع أنك تصل إلى ناس أكثر وتصل إلى ناس لم تصل إليهم من قبل. النقطة الثانية هي الرقمنة. هناك العديد من المسائل المتواجدة في العالم التي لا توجد في شكل شكل رقمي. No, 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 I feel like it's tough. The next question is the question. There are some questions that are only on the books or only on the books. They are not the same. The third question is the question of the information and the information. Usually the information is either on the Wikipedia or on the other side of the people of the Arab people. That is the American and Europe. So most of the ways that you see the information تكون على الشكل الذي هم معتدين عليه وهو شكل كتابي في كتب بينما نحن في مناطقنا عندنا طرق أخرى لأرشفة المعلومات يعني بشكل شفاهي أو بشكل آخر فيجب بشكل أساسي ومهم أن نهتم بهذا الأمر لأنه سيجعلنا نأخذ مصادر أكثر وفقط لكي أربط بين هذه النقطة ما قاله مارك من قبل فمارك أكد على أنه إذا أردنا تحسين جودة الموسوعة وإذا أردنا تحسين جودة المقالات يجب أن نصل إلى تنوع أكثر لأن التنوع هو الذي يجعل هناك قوى مضادة تقوم بالوصول إلى الحيادية أما إذا كانت عندنا فقط قوى واحدة فبطبيعة الأمر سيكون أمر غير متوازي النوفيليكس سوري 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 Normally, when we talk about uh, content diversity, we forget about knowledge consumers. We forget that in this movement that we're in, whatever we write, without the consumers, we, we're doing nothing. And I'd like to entreat you guys to look at the resource allocation recommendation high, because we speak about that. And why do I say this? I feel like there is an opportunity for us, Wikimedia, on the meta level, to be able to partner with institutions that allow us, um, institutions like Google, that allow people to search, right? So. One thing that we have not done, or I, I think we can do, is trying to identify the things that people search in different places and trying to like, suggest that to um, the community to create articles of those things. And so in doing that, you bridge the content gap and you bridge the content gap in such a way that you serve the needs of your consumers. One thing we are all forgetting in this room is that we are creating these recommendations and the uh, movement strategy, but we are not considering those who are not here. And so when we talk about these things, I'd like to entreat you to think about the consumers and people who actually read this content diversity that we're talking about and are not in this room. Did you, did you have something to add? 15 seconds. Okay, cool. Maybe you have one question? Uh, yeah, just one question. Uh, to answer your question, because I'm going to say it in Arabic. Felix Karam, this is a university of Africa, and I'm working on مثل الشراكة مع جوجل بين جوجل بعطونا زي قائمة أرتيكلز أو مقالات مش موجودة باللغة العربية ونشتغل مع المجتمع عشان نبنيهم اكشلي موجودة هاي الفكرة موجودة اسمها جلو تطويع أو تكبير اللغات على ويكيبيديا فهاي الشراكة نشتغل فيها إن شاء الله في مشروع المعرفة عن قريب تسمعوا عنه راح يكون هو نفس الشيء نبني المقالات باللغه العربيه هو. هضيف حاجه سريعه جدا بالنسبه للفجوه في المحتوى عشان عشان نسد او نقلل الفجوه دي احنا دايما بنشتغل على المبادرات النسويه اللي زادت بشكل كبير جدا من يعني كانت 2015 18 19 ولسه هنكمل في كده 
لحد ما نحاول ننهي الفجوة دي تماما. Thank you so much. And actually, I believe you were speaking about bridging the gap in the feminist project, the women's project. Um, because there was actually a question for that that we can come back to later and about the most, what the movement strategy decided about participation of women and non-binary people. But we'll come back to this one. We have a question there. Go ahead. Um, good evening. Um, uh, I decided to speak in English um, for, one, for a reason that I will explain later. Um, um, I have like a just short uh, uh, remark. It might be not, uh, not very practical or not very in the, uh, in the actions. Um, um, I heard in the beginning this um, um, really nice, uh, like really the first thing that I heard, the really nice um, expression of in safe space. And then um, I, I, I tried to follow a bit what was uh, said or presented in English. I was um, quite confused when I had to follow in Arabic. So I want to point here that um, um, uh, creating a safe space for Arab people or Arab culture or any other cultures, I'm not here uh, essentially a socialist, it's not about only translation. Um, um, and that's very confusing because like we, if we do only translation, and we've heard, we, we are hearing a lot of this because even the, 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 the effort that is uh, done in terms of content, uh, we talk a lot about uh, translation these days. This is one point that we, we need to reflect on. Um, I always, uh, I also uh, saw this um, um, two like titles that has to do with the, the, the strategy, uh, the thing with that you call knowledge as a service or knowledge uh, as, as equity. Uh, this is almost a, a frightening thing for me. It's, uh, it's not. Um, I mean, it's great to hear about like a project that has a, a clear idea about the future of let's say humanity, knowledge, etc. But this is like very um, um, uh, treatment. Every time when we talk about uh, knowledge, we use a lot, a lot of the word of Google. We know that Google has like, uh, it's like a company like, um, uh, that has specific thing related to client, how they see knowledge, it's different. And uh, I, I really doubt that uh, uh, the, the knowledge that we need to produce according to Google, it's the one uh, based on the algorithm, I don't know, uh, or data, or how many people want uh, needs, or how people uh, are looking for that kind of uh, uh, knowledge. Because there is a problem in that, which is uh, a form of selection, that we select certain knowledge among others. And when we are in, in more larger communities, at such very complex uh, world like Arab world, we have, uh, or Arab world, where Arabic is also uh, in many countries under the, this idea of Arabia. Arabic is only a uh, dominated uh, language of dominance. So if we connect to this point that um, 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 like if Egyptian, there are 90 million uh, like to some certain form of knowledge or they, they will decide for us to in, 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 in Morocco or like, you know this thing, I, I really doubt this, this, this thing related to data. Uh, just another uh, uh, point, sorry if, uh, um, um, I, if I, it's, it's just treatment, it's not about a light in the, in the end of a tunnel. Uh, that light, it's, uh, um, I believe it's a, a train that is approaching us, because since we are in this idea of uh, 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 like econometrics, uh, we're using a lot of concepts in this, and this is very treatment to the in inappropriability of the knowledge. Knowledge is, must be for everyone. And doesn't mean that, yeah, we label, uh, we, we create labels of commons that is for everyone. Because the accessibility to this label are restricted uh, by nature or by culture or by infrastructure. Um, we know that the process of, of decision is uh, made in one place according to cultural uh, position. So, um, 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 sorry for the, the gibberish uh, nonsense uh, outside uh, of text or sujet. Thank you. Uh, th thank you, Nordin. I would like just to give some clarification about two points. The first point, you mentioned the translation. So me and Mirdad, when we prepared the slides, we didn't want... That's a question. No, it's not a question, but it's a, just a clarification from us. We wanted the community to have the maximum of time in order to discuss and to give their feedback. We didn't want to have the maximum of time speaking English 
and then spend double time translating to Arabic. So we wanted to be efficient. The second thing, in, in Wiki Arabia, we were planning to have for the first time simultaneous translation, but we had budget constraints. So that's uh, one of the issues that we had. It's just a clarification. Then a second thing I wanted to answer about, it's not related to strategy, but it's very um, interesting to talk about. You mentioned that why people in Egypt decide uh, for people in Morocco or things like that. Why? Because in Morocco we are not very active. So Moroccan people need to be more active than they will decide for Egyptian people. That's not the truth, but we have to work on it. That's the problem. Be more active. Um, also, not to answer your second point, but more of a clarification uh, point, because you mentioned the, the Google, and, and I, I just want to be clear that I was using this as an example as an example of, uh, of like-minded, in a sense, or mission aligned, I'm not saying Google, I'm saying the needs for partnerships and expanding out to partnerships. The reason why I mentioned the Google one is because of the, the, the idea of, yes, the list is something that they provided, but the work that the community is doing is going through the list to make sure what is important to, to, to the community, what is relevant to the community. Just because the list was provided doesn't mean that the list is going to be Dictated. It's more of the importance of what is is this an article that we want to write about? If so, we'll do it. If not, <laughs> scratch the side. So I just want to just clarify. Um, okay, I think if we would like to go to a more general level from uh, uh, this comment, and I think it was really good. I think the, the issue at hand is what is uh, Wikipedia's role in not only promoting what is currently known and famous, uh, like the knowledge that is currently known and popular, but also promoting knowledge that is not popular. Like, do Wikipedia finish the end, which forgot the quiet moment in the last time I read more فأعتقد ده كان السؤال يعني حاجة تانية على السمارت تيمز انتربتيشن طب ما سألتوش الفولنتيز ليه والله أنا كان عندي استعداد أعملها وبلاش ما عنديش آلات ولكن لو كان معي مايك زي ده كنت عملت <تصفيق> احنا عايزين نسمع بقى من السيدات اللي معانا عشان نكسب كده الفجوه في الاسئله يعني عايزين نسمع سيدات معانا شاركنا الاراء مقترحات شكرا انا اسيا من المغرب السؤال اللي كنت اللي بقى مطرحه هو بالنسبه لمسابقه الضاد هي مسابقه يقوم بها بعض اخوان فلسطين بشراكه مع بعضهم هي مسابقه طبعا مدفوعه محاوله تشجيع الناس للمشاركه في اللغه العربيه بس التمويل من من اطراف يعني اطباء واساتذه و... فلما سالت لماذا لا تقوم ويكيبيديا بالمساعده ماديا فقال لي ان ذلك هو مرفض رغم ان هناك عدد كبير مش انا من الناس التي كنت مشاركه في المسابقه انا احرر ويكيبيديا منذ سبع سنوات اول مؤتمر دونك كنت السؤال هو لماذا لا تساعد ويكيبيديا هذه المبادرات مبادره ضاد اصبحت الان مبادره مبادره مصطفى محمود تيمنا بالمؤلف مصطفى محمود فده اولا ده سؤال <تصفيق> شكرا اسيا بس بدي اضيف شغله على اللي حكيته بصفتي مع احد المشرفين على المبادره اول ما تقدمنا بطلب منحه من المؤسسه المؤسسه هي بصراحه رفضت انها تعطي جوائز نقديه ولكنها قبلت انها تعطينا جوائز غير نقديه فهذه هذا هي التوضيح يعني المؤسسه هي ما رفضت مساعدتنا ولكنها عرضت المساعده بشكل غير نقدي السؤال هو احنا قررنا للمليون مقالة باللغة العربية لكن كلنا نعرف انها نصها بوتات اكثر وده دمر العمق بالنسبة لنا لا احنا بقى في المركز الثالث الثالث 
خليني بس اترجم السؤال الاول وجزء من السؤال الثاني ما بعرف اذا ما خلصتي او تخلصي السؤال الثاني بعدين بترجمي الثاني. السؤال بس هو هل هناك اتماتيف يعني حل الثاني من غير الموتف عشان نعوم كما قالت؟ سوف نتكلم فقط خمس دقائق لانه ليس عندنا وقت كثير. Uh, I'm going to translate the two questions. Uh, the first question was relating to a specific uh, grant that was applied uh, to the foundation uh, for the Mubadara um, al-Dad. Arabic, it was an Arabic speaking, spoken uh, grant that was uh, sent to the foundation that uh, the foundation uh, replied by saying uh, no to the financial, but yes to other means. Um, so, um, uh, Ask is wondering why. Um, so maybe it's bit, a bit why the foundation didn't help. So maybe this is a little bit more specific that we could potentially talk afterwards to understand. Um, and then the second question was, we're getting close to a million articles in Arabic. Um, a large, in, in her point of view, a large proportion is uh, by bots. Uh, what alternative methods uh, are we thinking of in order to not bot it? <laughs> أجاوب السؤال الثاني احنا يمكن في الثاني أو التاسع بالنسبة للعمق آه اللي احنا هنعمله ان احنا هنستقطب جدد وهنشجع موجودين ان هم يكملوا ويشاركوا بس هنكمل ازاي؟ محتاجين داتا والداتا في الوقت الحالي يعني باعتبار ان العمل التطوعي لسه في ناس لحد دلوقتي مش عندها فكرة الإيمان الكامل دي فاحنا يعني لازم نطالب المؤسسة ان هي تعمل لنا فند مرة واثنين وثلاثة عشان نعرف نستقطب ناس أكتر وده اللي حصل فعلا في المبادرات النسائية اللي احنا عملناها وبقى في وجود للنساء المحتوى مبدئيا زاد المحتوى النسوي زاد جدا وبعدين مشاركات النساء الحمد لله زادت الى الى حد ما مش هقول الى حد كبير بس ده يعني عن طريق ان احنا في جزء منه كان في في دعم فاحنا مضطرين ان المؤسسه تساعدنا في في الجزء ده ان هي تدينا فند هو يعني هنوجهه للناس عشان نشجعها اكتر واكتر ان هي تساعد حاجه حاجه ثانيه مثلا لما الخارجية السويدية اتعاملت اتعاملت معانا السنة اللي فاتت مع أغلب الدول حوالي 60 60 دولة تقريبا عشان يشاركوا في في ويكي جاب لسد لسد الفجوة ده كان حاجة كويسة جدا إن أنت واخد المبادرة منين؟ من الخارجية السويدية مش واخد من حاجة قليلة فده شجع الناس جدا. حاجة تانية مبادرة الفن والنسوية برضه ابتدعوا من الموضوع ده جدا ويمكن هم عندهم شراكة في مع المؤسسة لنفس الكلام. فالفكرة أنت بتشاركي مع مين؟ مين اللي بيديكي الدافع ان انت تضيفي جزء من الموسوعه؟ I'm just giving a quick time warning. We have to wrap up in about 10 minutes. Um, I see there are a lot of great programmatic examples um, about your own experiences, but here at this platform, we're really discussing more about structures of change, um, strategy. So I know it's not easy to switch gears and think about that, but beyond your own programmatic um, experience. Think of what structures can make sure that those experiences don't keep on happening. Um, try to think future. But we actually, Shola has been waiting for quite some time. And then, um, it will, I would love it to hear your thoughts about these questions. But go ahead. The question is just within one minute. Um, at, at present, we have over 80% of the structure in Africa, which does not support a legal status. At the moment, we have over 80 percent avid structures in Africa as user groups. Many of them do not support a legal status. Even globally, in the last two years, we've been having more of user groups. My question is: when we keep on having many affiliates that does not have a legal status, what is the movement strategy looking at? What is the structure that we want to put in place that will help? this so-called user group to harness the opportunities within the ecosystems that they will be operating. What are the structures that we put in place that will help these so-called user groups without structures, without legal status, that will help them to harness the opportunities within the ecosystem? Okay, so I'm not from rules and responsibilities, but I will try, because <laughs> because we have similar things to rules and responsibilities. 
So what you're saying is true, but we must also be cognizant of the fact that we cannot have a legal um, entity in every African country. And as it is important for us to have representations in those countries, it's also very important to understand that one, once you become legal, there's judicial responsibility for you to report and be accountable for certain things. And so you find that most of these groups want to be legal, but they don't want accountability. You can't have that right and not be accountable. There are, there are two things that go together. Now, what I wanted to say is that in the thinking of resource allocation, we saw this as a bigger problem. And one of the things that we tried to um, break up as a recommendation was to create regional hubs. And so with the regional hubs, it's like a decentralized unit that has the mandate and the capacity and understands the local context of the people and can provide support in all of these angles that you're talking about. But these are recommendations that have not yet been implemented, but something that we're definitely thinking about. Um, now, if you go to the roles and responsibilities recommendations, you see that they actually created a whole picture of what the structure or the movement should look like going forward. And um, these, some of these things have been covered on there. Um, I can't say that yet because it's not approved and there's nothing that um, currently exists in the movement, but they are looking at ways that they can formalize regional platforms to ensure that support is being given to these local athletes at their doorsteps. I just would like to add one thing on top of what Felix says. Uh, we as a community, I think that uh, it's our responsibility that we go through the information that the working groups are providing and give our feedback. Because if we ask the working groups what are we doing, they don't know what to answer because they are doing what we ask them to do, what we want as a community to be done in the future. So for example, what I would suggest to you, Shola, and not, it's not about you, it's for everyone, is to see, for example, what the roles and responsibilities groups are doing. They're presenting three different models. And to say, me, my name is Shola, I like model number one, because this, this, this. This is a suggestion. Yes, exactly. Yes, take it as part of what you need to work on. But this is what we are doing. We have looked at, so, so, see, have looked at many of these recommendations. Mm -hmm. Yes, this is coming back to you. Take it, yes. look at it. You don't need to condemn it. Look at it. Of if course. it's good, have it. If it's not very bad, mm -hmm. you leave it. We are here to just give you uh, my, my work is a strategy liaison, so this is exactly what I'm doing. I talk with people who speak Arabic, I have interviews with them, I have many interviews with Mosab by the way, and people give me their feedback and I send it to the working groups. So this is already ongoing, but we are very glad if you give even more feedback so that we can give to the working groups to show them the way, what the community wants. And that's why we have this part. yes. Really running out of time. Uh, just okay. Two more, three more comments. Hi, um, my name is Sai Shabat. Okay. Hi, my name is Sai Shabat. I work as a community brand and marketing coordinator for the foundation. And um, I know some people here were talking about funds and grants and uh, how things are going with that recently. And maybe I'm not the best person to talk about that here, but let's see. Like. While you're keeping these conversations going, and I think it should, you should keep these conversations going, but uh, at the same time, let's look at what else we can do. So something uh, my team has been sending me here to talk about, and I have uh, talked about with a few of you about is uh, marketing campaigns. So we have been experimenting with marketing campaigns in the uh, in different parts of the world recently. We have done uh, one in India, one in Mexico, one in Nigeria. So I heard and I was talking about uh, the problem of uh, law participation in Morocco. And I know Morocco is a big country. There are like 35 million people here, and there are uh, uh, and the internet access is I don't know the exact number, but I think it will not be under 50 percent. So it is there is a great potential for participation in Morocco. So why is that? Is it that law? And what can we do to? Improve that. So I have been uh, I've talked to Omar from Wikimedia uh, Morocco, and I have been talked to Mohamed Ali from Wikimedia Egypt about the idea of uh, marketing campaigns. So this is something I'm here to talk about and uh, help with. Uh, please don't respond to me, but if you are interested in in something like that, is something your community can support. And uh, let's let's chat about it. Lot. Just let me know, and we can like uh, experiment something like that. Probably we're not going to do a, a marketing campaign in every country in the world, but maybe you can do one here if, um, if 
you, if, if, if there is a potential for it, and if you are willing to help us uh, uh, figure it out how it can be done in your country. So this is something. One other thing is that we are also looking into improving our current Wikimedia brand system. We have been working on that uh, since the beginning of this year, and uh, probably we have uh, um, talked about it uh, in person or on handouts. We have reached out to uh, many communities in the world, like um, over 120 affiliates and uh, so many communities. So we are working on that now. So if you are interested on, on some, in something like how to develop our current plans to better serve the movement. This is something also we can talk about. I have shared a few channels that we can um, you can cooperate on that and help guide uh, where the new Wikimedia brand system is going. Uh, we are on Wikimedia Space and we are on Facebook and we are on Meta. So if you're interested in any of that or don't know where to start, please let me know. so much. We actually have just one closing comment from you. Go ahead. I will just try to translate the question in English and then answer in Arabic. So the question is about diversity. Uh, we are in Wikimedia 2019, but we see that there is a lack of presence from different Arabic countries. What's the reason and how can we tackle this to make it better in the future? Uh, in the fact, we have to say that 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 we have to فعدد من البلدان غائب وهم غائب بسبب تأشيرة فقط أسباب يعني تقنية وإدارية خارج عن إرادتنا ولكن رغم ذلك هناك دول أخرى بسبب عدد كبير من الأشياء مثلا دول الخليج شبه غائبة على الخريطة كذلك دول أخرى وهذه الأمور نحن كمتطوعين لم نستطع أن نغير فيها الكثير يعني أنا لا أستطيع أن شيء للكويت وأقول أني ماذا ليس عندكم مجموعات مستخدمة في نفس الوقت الناس في تلك البلدان لا يستطيعون بأنفسهم قيام بشيء نظرا لعدة ظروف الدول لها ظروف مختلفة والأشخاص طبعا لها أولويات ولها كذلك مخاوف بحسب الأوضاع التي يعيشون فيها فليس من السهل أنك تخرج إلى العالم وتقول أنني في مجموعة مستخدمين في بعض البلدان يكون أمر سهل في بعض البلدان يكون أمر سهل فممكن الحل هنا هو أن نجد طرق أخرى للعمل والتعاون بدون يعني أن نخلق مجموعة مستخدمين وبالتالي نصل إلى نقطة التي طرحها شغل قبل قليل متعلقة بالأدوار والمسؤوليات يعني ممكن أن نغير من صيغة العمل يعني بدل أن تكون صيغ هي مجموعة مستخدمين أو فصل أو أشياء من هذا القبيل ممكن تكون صيغ أخرى لأن تعمل بشكل مجموع ولكن بدون أن تظهر العلل لأنه أنا لا أتوقع مثلا أن ستكون هناك مجموعة مستخدمين كوريا الشمالية أو مجموعة مستخدمين كوبا هذه الأمور لن تقع في تلك البلدان لأن تلك البلدان عندهم ضوابط وإذا خرج للعمل ستقع له مشاكل فبالتالي الحل هنا هو أن نحاول أن نجد صيغة أخرى لجعل الناس نشيطة بدون أن تعرض نفسها للمخاطر وهنا أعمل إشهار للمجموعة التي أعمل فيها التي هي مجموعة المناصرة هذا هو عملنا يعني نحاول أن نجد دائما الإطار القانوني الذي يحمي الأشخاص ويجعلهم دائما محميين عندما يعملون في مشاريع ويكيبيديا لأنه ويكيبيديا ممكن في بعض البلدان هي أمر طبيعي وسهل ولكن في بلدان أخرى هي مخاطر لأنك أنت تكتب الحقيقة والحقيقة قد تضر مصالح بعض الجهات فبالتالي هذا أمر صعب ليس بالسهولة التي نعتقد ولهذا هناك ناس تخاف أن تظهر للعلن وهو ليس أمر بالسهل
Thank you so much. Um, we could spend days talking about strategy and this conversation is in no way over, it's open. So please join the conversation, join the wiki page. You can also connect with working group members on Meta, on social media channels. We also have a, an Arabic language strategy liaison. So please keep sharing your ideas. You have a lot of programmatic experience and this experience can really help take this strategy forward. And as was mentioned, the recommendations are very much alive and there's still just clay to mold. So please help us mold and shape this forward. Thank you so much. And a lot of your ideas will actually go right into the next session, which is the future of Wiki Arabia. Thank you so much. And thank you for being here. I wish we could have heard more from you. Um, thank you so much for your time. Thanks. If you're fine, we can keep the same setup because we can have a discussion for the future. So it's good to keep the same setup if you want. Future of